Thanks for joining me today. Today's topic, we're gonna to look a little bit at clutches and what they do and how they work. Now, clutches are really important. They belong to uh, components that are in a manual transmission uh, uh, car. So you need a way to somehow disconnect the engine from the transmission. And this guy is the, the guy that does it. Now, what it has in it are some basic parts you're gonna see right here, I have a, a bearing, which we'll talk about in a moment, called a throwout bearing. Uh, what I don't have on the table is something called a throwout fork that's actually gonna be pushing on this bearing uh, when I talk about that a little later. Uh, I have what we call a pressure plate assembly, and the pressure plate is does exactly that. It creates pressure on a plate inside, and there's a special spring right here called a Belleville spring or a diaphragm spring that when this is pushed down, it's like a lever. It's it's going to cause the other end of the spring to pop up, and there's some fulcrum points uh, right here, and actually on uh, some actually have a fulcrum ring around this where it pivots on. But when this goes down, these little rivets hold the this portion of the diaphragm spring while the other end comes up. And I'll turn this up here, and you can see the pressure plate actually inside. So when the diaphragm is pushed. You can see where they pivot on here, and actually you can see that little little ring in there if you look carefully enough. There's a ring inside of that that you can see in there. So that ring pushes this downwards uh, when this side goes up. So that little fulcrum action going on there pulls the pressure plate and recesses it back into the pressure plate itself, pressure plate cover itself. Now, what you also have in here is something called a friction disc or sometimes called a clutch disc. It's got uh, a special pad on it. These, they can be made of a number of different materials, ceramic materials to carbon fiber, uh, alternate materials that are used in it, even particles of uh, uh, metallic particles in there such as brass in there as well uh, in some cases. Now if you look in the middle of it, there's a hub assembly with a spline in it and that spline assembly will be fitting onto your input shaft for your transmission. And you'll also see that the central hub section of this friction disc here has either springs in there, in this case there's shock absorbing rubbers in there called torsional dampening. Uh, they're either torsional dampening springs or torsional dampening rubbers in there. <coughs> and this guy will actually be able to move a little bit. There's, a, there's room for movement as this clutch engages it will absorb the torque in there or the, the impact so it doesn't send a shutter down the input shaft to your transmission and harm it. Now, these guys also are made of two different sides of the uh, friction disc. You, you can see that there's a center section to it that has a wavy type uh, member coming through the middle of it, or sometimes it's called a cushioning spring. So when the clutch applies, it causes that cushioning spring to absorb some of that um, harshness out of there so it doesn't send too much of a shock down the down the drivetrain and into the transmission. And there's also little lines on these friction discs cut into there, and they're pretty important lines. What they do is when the clutch wears and there's particles of dust and uh, fibers being left behind, it allows those to be caught by those or they go into the into the recesses of those, just much like the tires on the road allow the rocks and pebbles to go into the into little cut marks in the tires so the so the tire can actually make good contact with the road. This happens here too. We want to make sure we're clearing away the, the debris that, and dust that might be on the on the frictional surfaces and allows this area to maintain good contact with the with the uh, cast iron surfaces on the flywheel and on the pressure plate assembly. The other thing it does is when we take the clutch and we release it, we allow the pressure plate to come back off of here. We allow this to create kind of a little, uh, something like, a, almost like a air hockey puck floating on, on, air, on an air hockey board. It allows it to hover a little bit more and maintain clearance in there. So it provides a little bit of a, a hovering effect as well. And uh, some, uh, you might even think if there's any water in entrance or anything, there's moisture in there, it can help better clear it as well. So there's multiple reasons why we have that. You can see this 
friction disc as well has been riveted on and that's one thing we got to watch for when we look at clutches when they wear out if they start getting close to the rivets that means that they're they're past their life expectancy and once these grooves are wore out on there as well then that's telling you that the clutch is no longer good now clutches don't last forever they uh, will last quite a long time i've seen people get a couple hundred thousand kilometers uh, or about 160,000 miles out of these clutches and sometimes even more so it depends on the driver i've also seen people go through clutches a lot quicker than that and uh, seen people hardly make it to uh, 50,000 kilometers with them because they're heavy on the clutch and they do something what they call riding on the clutch where they like to keep their pedal on the clutch and that decreases the pressure of the pressure plate on the friction disc and that can cause it to slip and cause premature wear. So that's your friction disc or clutch disc. Now what we have coming right off the motor is the flywheel and that's where the friction disc rubs on there. That flywheel, now we've got a rusty guy here, but that's a finely machined surface on there and it provides the uh, the main surface of friction when we apply the friction disc to it and then we apply the pressure plate over top of it like so and by the way this pressure plate in the motor is bolted down and you got to ask and apply all that spring pressure of that diaphragm down on the friction disc and it's going to clamp it there when we take and we are in the engaged position these spring fingers or release fingers of that diaphragm spring are out. And that means that the pressure of the pressure plate is down, squeezing that friction disc tightly against the flywheel. It locks that friction disc directly to the flywheel. And those splines in the friction disc would be riding up on the transmission. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the right friction disc for this transmission input shaft but when the flywheel rotates it then rotates the input shaft on the transmission and we send the power from the engine directly into the transmission now we need to be able to release that so that's where this guy comes in and that's the clutch release bearing now the release bearing has a fork that pushes on it which when we push on the clutch pedal inside the car through linkages and uh, what we call a throw out fork or a clutch fork that pushes this guy we we're able to push them into contact with the pressure plate fingers and that causes that friction disc inside to become loose in there it's able to float between the pressure plate that is pulled back and the flywheel so it floats in there and allows the flywheel to turn but not the input shaft and that's where it would ride and by the way now this isn't the right, the right bearing for this, but this guy would fit over top of this, what we call a throwout sleeve, so it can ride back and forth, okay? Now one thing about clutches, when you're using them, um, you can really increase the lifespan of them if you treat them carefully. And when you release a clutch, you wanna release it smoothly. And then once it's disengaged, take your foot completely off it. And you will generally, like I said, you can get a couple hundred thousand kilometers or, or 160,000 miles out of it, or sometimes even more if you're careful with it. People who carry heavy loads and they pull and haul a lot of things with it tend to have clutches that wear a little prematurely naturally, but that's all part of making good use of your vehicle. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there is a housing that goes over top of that that closes the clutch in. We call that the bell housing. And that, bell. and that bell housing is actually what connects the transmission assembly to the engine. And that's the clutch assembly.